If you have to deal with a patient who is feeling unwell, you can go through a simple mnemonic process called a sample assessment. A person's age will depend on how you treat them. If you're dealing with an adult, you can talk to them directly. If you're dealing with a child, you can still talk to them, but you might also want to hear what the parents or guardians say to give a little bit more information. And also, the way you talk to them may need to change so that children can understand you and also not be scared. With the mnemonic sample, S stands for signs and symptoms, A, allergies, M, medications, P, pre-existing medical conditions, L, last meal, and E, events. We use the mnemonic sample as a way of assessing somebody who's unwell. With this information, we can decide on what action we need to take, as it gives us more information to tell the EMS or other people like family members. Breaking it down, the S stands for signs and symptoms. A sign is something you see. A symptom is something the patient tells you. So the sorts of things we're looking for here will be the signs that may be a rash, uneven pupils, or it could be sweaty skin, or anything you can actually see on the patient. The symptoms could be things like a headache, stomach ache, or diarrhea. These are things that you would need to look at and you would need to ask people leading questions to find out what's actually wrong with them. A for allergies will be anything a person is allergic to. So we can ask questions like, are you allergic to any food stuff? Maybe they say they're allergic to peanuts or a chemical or antibiotics. And this is going to lead to extra questions you can ask them. M is for medications. Are they taking any drugs? This could be as basic as they've had paracetamol this morning or it could be that they're on other medications. It might be asthma inhalers, or it might be insulin for diabetes, and things like this. P is pre-existing medical conditions. This is where you would ask, do you have any already? They may answer, yes, I'm a diabetic, or I have anaphylaxis, or any other medical condition they may have. L is last meal. The last meal is important because this could give you an indication of whether they're feeling unwell as a result of any food poisoning. It could be that they're a diabetic and haven't eaten for a while. It also gives you a greater picture of the run-ups to what's actually happened. E is the events. This is the events that led up to it. You can talk to them and find out how long ago it started. This could be very important with something like diabetes. If they suddenly became unwell, this could indicate their blood sugar is low. Therefore, you can give them sugar. If it's been a length of time, it might be that their blood sugar levels are high. Therefore, we need to get them to emergency treatment. This could be very important with something like diabetes. If they suddenly became unwell, this could indicate their blood sugar is low. Therefore, you can give them sugar. If it's been a length of time, it might be that their blood sugar levels are high. Therefore, we need to get them to emergency treatment as soon as possible. The events will give you a good overall picture of what's happened and what stages there have been, and also anything else that they've done that they think may have caused them to be unwell. As far as what to do with this information, it can be used to make your decision on treatment or pass to the emergency services or a doctor. It's also a good way to try and help the patient by talking to them until help arrives. Finally, remember if you're dealing with children, the sample questions you need to ask must be basic.